All right, fans of music, welcome back. It is Dave. It is the Real Music Observer observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there and yours truly right here. Uh, Mick Fleetwood wasn't entirely honest when he came out last spring and told everybody how Lindsey Buckingham was not a team player and how they had reached an impasse as far as um, Lindsey's solo album that he wanted to record. According to Us Weekly and Ultimate Classic Rock, Buckingham was willing to put all of that on hold so he could go out and tour with the band. Um, okay, so that completely wipes that whole theory off the table, Mick Fleetwood. Um, look, this isn't the first time I've heard a musician run up to a microphone and make some type of claim that covers for the actual thing that's happening. Uh, and this happens a lot around Live Nation stuff, Irving Azoff stuff. It's just, it's just a crazy coincidence, folks. I don't know why. Um, here's one for you from this year. Neil Sean and the keyboard player from Journey, their relationship has reset. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, here's another one from the Sticks camp. Dennis DeYoung was just not willing to tour. He just wasn't willing to tour. <laughs> you know, that whole flu light sensitivity thing uh, 20 years ago has prevented him from touring the last 11 years nonstop. <clears throat> oh, here's a good one for you. Steve Perry left Journey 31 years ago. <clears throat> no mention of Trial by Fire or what happened a little bit after that when uh, the hip thing happened and then you know, I'd love to know the back and forth exchanges on the hip thing, but that's that's research and that's somebody who's got to come forward and, hey, if you got any intel on that, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, here's another one for you. Jeff Coffey left the band Chicago because of the rigorous touring schedule. Himself and uh, Tris Imboden both left last year about this time simultaneously because of the rigorous touring schedule that they already knew about. Something already happened or went down and it, they needed some type of cover. And uh, I don't fault those guys for putting that out there. It's a lot easier to do that than completely light up a bridge and watch it burn behind you. Um, look, Buckingham was willing to put his solo album on hold so the band Fleetwood Mac could go out on tour. Bottom line, it's in the lawsuit. And I think Buckingham has a really good chance of winning this lawsuit. Uh, Mick Fleetwood, buddy, tall guy, balding guy, great drummer, but uh, man, oh man, um, you weren't honest with us when you first came out with this information. And that's why everybody has to sort of be on guard when you hear a rock star talk about a breakup or some kind of disagreement, there's probably something else going on behind the scenes. All right, done with this video. Be back with more very soon. Stay tuned.